Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the Daily Vibe. Uh, Good morning. Yeah, sorry guys, it's a little windy out here today, so you're probably a little yeah, <laughs> I'm a little brucey out. <laughs> That's a nice one. A yeah, a little brucey out. <laughs> he's obviously he's he knows we're outside, so he wants to sit over there and complain. <laughs> well, let us know that he's still around. Don't, you know, don't I'm forget about nowhere. me. I'm still here. Yeah, I, I'm still here from yesterday. <laughs> don't forget about me. <laughs> but I'm sitting. If you guys missed our last video here, we got our flooring down or foundation. It's kind of like a combination between the two. <laughs> flooring yeah. slash foundation. Oh, flooring. Yeah. yeah. For the greenhouse, I'm I'm so looking forward to this this being done and built and like start actually using it. I'm actually not going to use it probably till winter time or fall ish. But um, yesterday, you never know. You can grow all kinds of stuff in it. Yeah, and yesterday I was doing um, some research as far as like just greenhouse growing. Um, you know, different like layouts of like how they got their plants and stuff inside their greenhouse. And, so I'm really excited to grow in the greenhouse, um, but I need to finish being really excited to grow out here. <laughs> I'll have stuff growing everywhere, guys. All kinds of stuff. I'll move my, my stuff out of his way. Yeah, I mean, when we built this, just to hold everything in place, we only put one screw. Yeah. Like, on each floor joist across the board. Yeah. So I need to go back and do two, and it's mainly because I wanted Wyatt to help. And uh, when she was new at, new at it, it was taking a long time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to him. It's just yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, I just can do this before we get any other work done. So. Yeah. Get it done and over with. Uh, I say it's not going to take too long, but. What, these screws? Yeah, putting all these screws in. <laughs> it won't take too, too long. But we, uh, we know how things work around here. Moving like pond water. You hear those little baby birds chirping? Yeah. I heard him yesterday too, and I thought, I thought, well, maybe it's in the birdhouses or something, but it's not. <laughs> There's no birds living inside our birdhouse. I don't know if we mentioned this, but we did happen to catch a bird, like, scoping, scoping it, out. it out, the different birdhouses, but, sorry, I'm in my coffee. I mean, yeah, they were. They were scoping it out. Um, I'm sure the cat's right there, that's Sylvia hanging out on the fence. Yeah, I'm sure the cat scared the bird down. <laughs> yeah, I will say the hummingbirds still come around even though, I mean, Sylvia, sometimes she's like down there on the ground. Like she's, she's trying to catch one. I don't think she's been very successful at this point. No. Um, she did catch one last year, so. <laughs> I said she likes the taste of those hummingbirds, I guess. What can you do? <laughs> they're, li they're a little spicy, those hummingbirds. <laughs> Yeah, nothing. Just it's part of nature, I guess. It's the circle of life, right? The circle of life. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys noticed yesterday, we did not do a vibe. Um, I don't know. We had some things we were taking care of yesterday, and um, it did rain some yesterday, and just I don't know, just. One of those days. Been, we might even talk about that. Yeah. That's what we seem to always talk about. But as a lot of you guys probably know, the weather has been real finicky here. Yeah. Um, I seen yesterday there was some tornadoes um, in Oklahoma. Uh, Rusty and Rachel, they had, um, I guess, a tornado that was not too far from them. He sent out a message yesterday, you know, being like, hey, guys, just a heads up. <laughs> Woo, and this wind. I'm so sorry. Here, let me try to. I'll turn my phone this way because this is the way the wind's blowing right now. The way my it doesn't blow right into the microphone. <laughs> but other than the wind and being kind of humid today, it's a beautiful morning. Um, the sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Um, these are the types of mornings I like. I don't even mind the breeze. It actually feels really nice with the humidity. <laughs> it's like a fan. Yeah, yeah it feels good. Yeah, so. Hopefully today, guys, our, our plan is to get back up on this greenhouse today. Um, try to get as much done as we can. Once again, it is supposed to rain tomorrow. 
I just checked the weather. It's probably a bad idea for me to check the weather all the time. No, we need to know. I know, yeah, but. We need to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but we had a great weekend. Um, let's see, Saturday. What did we do Saturday? Didn't something happen on Saturday? We were working on that. That's right, we were. <laughs> Way over my head. <laughs> yeah, we, we worked up, finished the flooring on this. That was on Saturday. Um, that's why Wyatt was helping us out, because he was home uh, for the, the weekend. And speaking of Wyatt, they only have, like, two weeks left of school. I was telling Wyatt, I said, next week is, like, your last full week of school. Can you believe it? So he's really excited about being out for the summer. He was talking about it on, his, on the way down to the bus stop this morning about how he's going to go swimming and <laughs> I know this year has flown by. It has. I can't believe it's already May. This, yeah, this school year has flown by. Yeah. And uh, for some of you guys that may not know, Anthony and Mai's wedding anniversary coming up. <laughs> is on Thursday. Yep. yep. Lucky number 12. I can't believe it. 12 years. That's a long time. Um, I know. I've been, I mean, I've been stuck with her for 12 years now. Yeah. Just kidding. Me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I say that too. I say, oh man, you've been stuck with me for 12 years. That's crazy. <laughs> That's probably no fun. I'm just kidding. Sorry. I'm kidding. Sorry, guys. I'm just. Yeah, he's working. Here, so I'm just trying to. Um, finish use it. Use the time wisely. Yeah, finish I it. I do want to get, like she said, back to working on this today over the weather. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to rain today. No, it's yeah, not. But, I just uh, checked. I'm be all right. I just checked. But okay. hey, you know how the weather changes so quickly around here. Yeah. It'd be bright and sunny one day and nasty and cloudy and gross the next day or the other way around. It seems to work that way more. So Anthony's doing that. Um, I'm going to check to see. We did get a pretty good rain yesterday, like last night. I don't remember the last time I emptied this out. It rained pretty much all day on Sundays, and I don't think I emptied it out. So total over the last couple days, guys, we've gotten like an inch and a half of rain. That's pretty, inch and a half, it's pretty crazy. I can uh, definitely see how we would have like an inch and a half. <laughs> and uh, we're hanging out obviously in the garden, guys. I, um, I'm kind of looking around and making sure everything's okay. Everything's kind of flopped over right now because of the wind and stuff, but nothing's broken. It's just kind of, hanging on for dear life because this wind is so bad. My poor plants, like look at my zucchinis over here. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> it's all wee, I'm, I'm riding the wind. <laughs> that's okay, as long as it don't break. That's what I, I don't want to happen. Any of that stuff to break. My uh, stuff, my garden, my zucchinis and my, pe my beans and Stuff like that. I don't want them to to break, you know. Yeah, that's why I was saying the bush beans because of the wind. But I think they'll be okay. They'll they'll perk back up when the wind goes away. And then uh, I think it was Friday. Um, our neighbor uh, owns next door. He came over and he brought over some uh, moon glories. Moon, yeah, moon glory, moonflowers. moonflowers. They're like morning glories. They're the white ones. Um, I do know they're invasive and they will take over if you're not careful. So right now I have them kind of over by the deck. They're just sitting in a pot. He, um, they're just little ones right now. So I'm just kind of babying them. I got to figure out exactly where I should put them. Cause like I just said, they're very invasive. They'll take over. So I kind of want to be mindful of where I'm planting them. Um, but he did, he brought me over some, which I thought was really cool. So I picked him, he's got him over by his house. So he's like, oh, hey, I'm gonna bring you over some. So I planted them in here uh, just the other day. And they're doing all right. They were pretty, they were pretty wilted and a little shriveled up when he brought them over here, but I planted them and been watering them and stuff. I, uh, sorry guys, I got a piece of hair or something on me, just like tickling my arm. <laughs> um, so I planted them and watered them and stuff and they're at perking back up and actually they've gotten like new little leaves on them and stuff so they're doing good. Um, I'll have to just figure out a really good spot to put them. 
for now. I don't know where. I'll have to think about it. I was thinking around a tree or something would be really cool. But eventually it will take over, so I have to just kind of, like I said, be mindful of that. <laughs> and then I, I've i seen too, you guys probably, this was a few videos back, I planted um, my herbs and I got some peppermint and a lot of comments were saying, you know, hey, be careful, that's very, you know, they'll take it'll take over and all that stuff. Make sure you plant it in a pot. I did. They're all in a pot right here. My herb, my, uh, I know. This wind, guys, it's terrible. Um, I did plant it in a pot right here. Right here. See, here's my mint in a pot and then my parsley. I see a big bug on it. I don't know what kind of bug that is. And then my basil's right here too. So my the, the front deck's kind of turned into my little herb garden area. I would like to get some oregano and plant some of that um i just i, I don't know i we went to uh walmart the other day and i actually looked to see if they had any like starters of oregano and i didn't see any but mind you i was only at, <clears throat> in town there i didn't go to like the big city to look which is where i got all those so but there everything's growing so good um i'm just so excited you guys know me i love just watching things grow that seems to be the story of my life. All my wildflowers growing in here. There's like so many different types. There's like, these are, um, these are zanias. Um, I do have like these right here. These are the Black Eyed Susan's vines. Um, they're growing too very well. I mean, it's cool because now everything's starting to pop over the, the garden bed which is really cool. <laughs> but this side seems to grow better than this side, and I'm sure that's because of the sunlight, because the sun rises on this side, sets on this side, so I don't think this side gets just get as, as much. But it's still growing and looking nice too, and I got some Black Eyed Susans in there that are growing, you know, it's doing its thing. I just can't wait. <laughs> I wish it'd go fast. I was telling Anthony, I said, hey, I said here in like, three weeks my garden's gonna look completely different because everything's gonna be really big and growing in full force um last year i planted everything um everything was growing just kind of like looking like how it is right now just kind of small sticking out of the ground you can tell that it's growing we went to vegas for the week came back and everything had like tripled in size it was crazy how fast everything grew over that just that week i was gone it was pretty, pretty crazy. And I don't think, uh, I don't remember if Melly and Gary watered the garden while we were gone. I don't think they did. Cause I think the weather, it was kind of rainy and stuff. I said, Hey, if it's going to rain and stuff a couple days during that week, I wouldn't worry too much about it. My garden will be fine. And, uh, obviously it was, it took off. So very happy about that. <laughs> Just like everything else. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Yeah, doing good. It is doing very good. I mean, you start everything from seed. Yeah. So it takes a little longer than people that plant starters and they have a giant garden in five minutes. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't know if you guys heard what he just said, but I did. I planted everything from seed. Um, I did go through here. I think it was on Saturday, and I actually planted a couple more seeds because I had a couple things that didn't really grow. Some of my seeds are old. Some of them are from like that very first year we were here. And then some of them I bought in uh, like this year and stuff like that. So some of mine are kind of old. So I'm sure some of the reason why some of them didn't grow is because they're just not good. So my uh, cucumbers, I, I planted a couple more over here. I actually planted some more bush beans. Um, I still need to go through and finish picking out my weeds. And I'm sure you guys will comment and say you need to get a weed barrier. Well, I don't really have plans to get a weed barrier anytime soon, so <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there right now. I did see people were saying about like newspapers and stuff, using newspaper or a mulch for a weed barrier. Um, one, I don't have, we, we, would, we would have to go buy newspaper. We don't get newspaper out here. We don't get like um, 
sale articles or anything like that. So I would still have to go spend money and buy newspapers. I'm not going to go and steal a bunch of the free ones, you know. Why not? <laughs> um, and then uh, the mulch... Uh, I mean, I guess I, I have like the leaf mulch. I did put it in my garden beds um, at the end of last year um, and then mixed it into the dirt this year. And that's why that's, I think the main reason why I have so many weeds that grow in these garden beds, because I'll take the leaves and the mulch that we mulched after we raked the yard and I put it in here. So there's like seeds, like grass seed, clover seed, weed seeds. I mean, there's all kinds of different seeds in there and then I put it in here and then when it starts to get warm or whatever I think it makes it grow obviously and that's why I think I have such a, a weed problem all every year because this is the second year I've done the mulch with the leaves <laughs> every year I got the same problem with the weeds yeah. there's just a lot and I will say this there is clover that is growing in there but none of that clover that is growing in these garden beds is the clover I planted and I know that for a fact because I planted yellow or white flowered clover everywhere, like all the white flowered clover, that's all me. But yellow flowers, those just grow wild out here. That's the type of clover that grows. And that's all the clover I ever see inside my garden beds is the uh, wild stuff. The wild seeds. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the, I mean the yard, it's a combination, it, most of the yard is me, is the my clover that I planted. but. Like in the back, there's a lot more of like mine, the wild, and I think some of my grass that I've actually planted, because that very first year I planted grass out there, I actually planted real grass. And then it was just getting to be too much. And I was like, you know what? I did some research. I found cro clover works very well. It grows really fast and it takes over. And that's kind of what I want to happen out there. So that's why I went with the clover route. Part of the reason why I went with the clover route. And it provides food. It's just a win-win all around, in my in my opinion. And it does look so nice when it's mowed. Hopefully the wind's not so bad. You guys can't even hear what I'm saying right now. <laughs> you know. It does get windy. Yeah. Um, but the yard looks nice. Anthony actually came out here the other day and he was mowing. He uh, mowed. Now, yeah, he mowed uh, the backyard. He mowed this front yard. He mowed over here too. In this little cleared area over there so it's looking nice and trimmed and fresh out here <laughs> i need to come in here and maybe do the garden again it's kind of getting a little overran bigger i've noticed too like i got clover right where kind of where jane has got and it's that was not there a couple days ago and now it's just poof, took it off it's amazing it's the weather oh yeah no here this is my peppers now, part of the reason why I haven't picked any of the weeds out of here is because I have no idea if any of these are my peppers. None. But I'm almost positive that that's a cantaloupe from last year. There's another cantaloupe right there. I just found another one, too, right here. And, yeah, there's another one. That's a cantaloupe. All volunteers. Yeah, um... Last year, I planted cantaloupes. I had cantaloupes and watermelon in here last year. And then I had like a second round. I don't know if you guys remember. I had like a second round of cantaloupes because I had some cantaloupe in here. It, it rotted out and then I got rid of it, but some of the seeds were in it. So they started growing more cantaloupe. Yeah. And then we had like our first frost. <laughs> so all those cantaloupes went to waste and like it was covered in seeds. So I didn't obviously get all the seeds out and I think that's why it's growing. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It looks like it. Yeah, and I don't see any peppers or anything in there. It's not it hasn't been warm enough yet. Yeah, people are, and I was reading that too yesterday. They say it's got to get really hot, so I'm kind of like leery about maybe planting cantaloupe in here because I thought, well, maybe I'll just plant my cantaloupe in here instead. Well, I told I told her just grab some small planters yeah. you know, or five gallon buckets. We got a bunch, and plant peppers in those. I know, but what if these? I know, but well. What if this takes off? Well, the, the cantaloupe and the watermelon the volunteers, they're going to take off quicker. I know, but there's only like one, two. Yeah, but it'll cover this whole thing. Yeah, there's like three or four plants in here. So, that's just what I said. I said, you know what? Just find some uh, 
a planner, we got some and just put your peppers and those individually like on the side or something for now. Yeah, yeah. So we I, know for a fact. Yeah, I did buy dirt. Um, that is part of my plans. It's on my list of things to do. But like Anthony was saying and what I've researched too and what I've read in comments is uh, peppers, they, it needs to be a little bit more hotter for them to grow. So I think growing peppers, I think I still got some time because it's not, it hasn't been like just Saturday, it was pretty chilly because of the rain and stuff. And then, I mean, today it's a little warm, but you know, we're kind of like in this weird funky weather where it's not hot, but it's not cold or it's cold, but it's not hot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I guess we should get back to it. I think yeah, yeah, I think Anthony is just about done, right? Just, I just did the, the perimeter yeah, yeah. for right now. Yep, yeah, and then uh, get busy and hopefully get some stuff done. Yeah. It came out really good though, guys. Oh, I know. It's very sturdy and very strong. And it looks nice. Yeah. Well, that's just the floor. Yeah. I told Roxanne, I said, man, your greenhouse is going to be... It's going to be pretty big. I know. It's going to be her she shed. <laughs> I told her we have to move her computer out here and put a stove out here. You know, she can just hang out here. <laughs> you know, I'm kidding, by the way. Yeah. But it's big enough. It is big. Ugh. It is pretty big. It's but like that's the size of Wyatt's room. Yeah. Well, you know that? I mean, our garden area is bigger than our house. Oh, yeah. You know? By far. Yeah. So, uh, right. that's our. It. Yeah, more space. More space, that's what I say. <laughs> Which is great, because I want to grow more. That's and we will. Yep. It will be nice and awesome. So, yeah. well, we're going to get busy, guys. Stay safe. Yes. Stay motivated, guys. Have a happy Tuesday. Thanks for being here. And we'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.